Well, bonjour, brewers, and welcome to the first of a series of commentaries on the Bloodborne bosses. I'm Blame189, and welcome to the commentary on the Cleric Beast. The Cleric Beast is the first boss that you have the chance of encountering in the game, and the clue is in the title with this guy, Cleric Beast. He is a beast born of one of the members of the church through blood experimentation. He's located on the one end of the Great Bridge in central Yarnum. Um, if you note, the video that you're watching in the background while I'm talking is a third playthrough video, which means the character is level 205 at this point. What? And the general difficulty of the game has increased by roughly 48%. Uh, which means that for first time playthroughs, uh, the battle won't look like this at all. For those people who are fighting the Cleric Beast for the first time, they should note that he is very weak to fire, so bring your Molotovs. He's also very weak to serrated blade attacks, so saw spear or saw cleaver, as you see in the video, is particularly good against this guy. All four of his limbs have their own health and can be damaged separately. Um, and when they are damaged, it will stagger the Cleric Beast, which means you have an opportunity and an opening for massive damage. The only tricky bit about this fight is timing your, your attacks and timing your dodges, so you can skirt between or around his legs to avoid major damage. I hope that's helpful. This is Blame189 for Bloodborne and SBA Gaming. Cheers, Brewers!